Hey what's up guys welcome back to another rock and metal news video sleep token is arguably the fastest rising rock or metal band in the last 10 years their new album take me back to Eden was seemingly incredible so why wasn't sleep token acknowledged during the Grammys the the biggest band in the last year wasn't even acknowledged hey what up everybody it's your boy trevor back with another rock and metal news video so the grammys happened on february 4th so as you guys can see it says grammy for the best metal performance went to metallica and the nominees were disturbed bad man Spirit Box, Jaded, Slipknot, and Ghost. And to be honest, I would actually say Sleep Token is doing a lot more than what Disturbed did, okay? I can look at um, Spirit Box and say, yeah, they were, they were doing good in 2022, 2023, but I think Sleep Token overdid these groups, honestly. So why wasn't the band Sleep Token even mentioned at the Grammys? Like, nobody said they're being nominated. They have over 3 million monthly listeners, which when we previously did a video, they were only at 2.3 million. So they've already gained a massive following and more and more people are discovering this band. Is Sleep Token the best thing that is out there? One of the biggest rising bands in rock and metal music right now. The mainstream still doesn't understand it because the mainstream doesn't get rock music. Rock music is not the biggest thing it once was. And that is the thing. Rock music nowadays is not the biggest thing out there. So even if you have a band that is big as Sleep Token, are they going over into the pop genre and into these other genres because if they could emerge as this rock band that can cross over then the crossover is where sleep token is going to get their massive hit look at people like carrie underwood uh taylor swift when they were just doing straight country stuff were they as big as they are today absolutely not but why would the Grammys not even nominate them when they are the fastest rising metal band in the last 10 years? They came literally out of nowhere. And I believe they came out of the TikTok generation. They, the TikTok fans blew them up. Of Sleep Token, I also wonder why they weren't nominated. But I also asked this question, not to be a dick or... To, to, to rough your feathers I'm asking is this band going to be around in 15 years are they going to be the next Linkin Park are they going to be something that is so uniquely different it's not even funny because if you go back to 2018 when they released like their first couple of albums nobody was talking about them nobody was saying well this is the next thing since sliced bread nobody was really even mentioning who they were until I think 2022 when I was going to see them at uh, I heard about them and then when I was going in 2023 to the Blue Ridge Rock Festival where they were going to perform I was like, oh, sh I could go out and watch them at the Blue Ridge Rock Festival But before then nobody ever really even talked about them So that's my question. Why do you guys think that this band so much hype? but also I think this band is is at that weird point in their career either you like them or you don't they're doing a lot of things that is unique adding pop elements to their music and they have heavy riffs yes they sold out their first american tour their first north american tour it's completely sold out they are putting on high energetic shows they have a singer that can really sing his ass off they have great catchy rhythms but I think the reason why nobody is nominating these for the baddest metal performance or metal bands is because metal music has always been looked down upon as 
a genre of music of scumbags. Oh, only weirdos listen to that. But if it's like pop music, most people go, I can relate to a pop song. They can put it on, they can listen to it. But most people can't sit back and listen to a sleep token track and enjoy it for what it is. So for myself, listening to Sleep Token, I think they're a unique band that might have so much success right now. They're up here getting so much success from their newest album that they might not never hit that uh, fame again. Their success might not be that big ever again. And you might think to yourself, well, why would I say that? Look at all the artists that have, like, nobody albums, then they blow up, and then they either can never reach that success again. Prime example, look at Vanilla Ice. He had Ice Ice Baby, the biggest rap song, pop song of all time, and where is he today? He gets more success uh, fixing up houses. He gets more success doing other things outside of the music genre than he does actually performing. And it's because he hit the uh, a pinnacle of what he could do. And he can never re-capitalize uh, on that. And that's what I think Sleep Token might be at. Where they can't capitalize on this new album when they re whenever they release it. And I think that's what's going to happen. I think they might be one of those bands that are like the 2 o'clock in the afternoon band at a, at a music festival. They're still going to be putting on good shows. Putting out decent music. But they just won't be that like overly... Uh, aggressive band that people want to succeed because I, I just look at them as they're great they're good for now but can they capitalize on it and I think with the Grammy thing and them not winning or even being nominated I really believe it comes down to one of two things it's rock music and because as a rock fan we go they're the biggest thing since sliced bread but if you talk to anybody that's outside of the music genre of rock they would probably tell you, I've never heard of Sleep Token. I don't even know who they are. And I don't even know what their music is about. And if you played it, a lot of people would go, I'm just not into it. And that is a fact. But as always, that is my video. I think they're not, they were never nominated because most people don't even know who they are outside of the rock and metal genre. But for a fan of their music, I think they're very unique and very different. But as a fan of the band, I think they're very different, very unique. But I just don't know if they're going to reach the pinnacle of their last album. Let me know what you guys think. Should they have been nominated for a Grammy? And are they going to be the next thing since like...